Hello, yes, Nick Griffin's Reconquista reevaluated part two. I didn't really want to do this to tell you the truth because it's a complete waste of time. But some uh, interesting information uh, I came across uh, a few hours ago and I thought, well, I'd share it with you. Opinion, I think it's pronounced, and it's like some uh, strategic study group that gathers um, information and whatever. And, uh, the information it gathered on the EU and the voting habits of young people is quite interesting. Uh, in the link below, it says that 64% of young people between 18 and 24, I think, uh, voted in the EU uh, referendum. It says 64% voted, 18 to 24-year-olds voted to remain, but that's really irrelevant at the moment. And 65% uh, between 25 and 39 also voted, and it says to remain as well. So to say young people aren't voting, then that's not exactly true. You see, Nick, you're quite right. Pleasure-seeking hedonism uh, and everything in today's modern world, it is preventing or stopping or uh, discouraging, that's the way, discouraging young people from having kids, but not from voting. You see, having kids is a massive undertaking, which you then have to forsake all the pleasure seeking, and people don't want to do that. Going to the polls every blue moon is not a big chore, so they're prepared to do that. So you're wrong on all fronts here, right? Whether or not they vote remain, we've got to make sure we get them over to our side. We, we've failed them. That's what we're doing. We're failing them. Right, and our enemies are our witness producing national action and Tommy Robinson and Britain Faith and all, all the bleeding rest of it and Jack Sem while I'm at it. Right, so we've failed them. It's not that we can't win them over, we can, but we're failing them and we're letting our enemies dictate the path we take. So, opinion between 64% uh, of 18 year olds to 24 year olds voted in the EU referendum. And 65% of 25-year-olds um, to 39-year-olds also voted in the referendum. So that shows then that young people are voting. Sadly, not for us, right? Uh, in the large enough numbers that we need, right? Obviously, there's still a large percentage of those that voted to leave, of course, right? Um, opinion, it's like some strategic study group gathering in information to harness your business or whatever it is. I'll leave the link below, but them figures are interesting, right? Because that shows that the pleasure seeking, the hedonism, and everything that comes with it, right, isn't stopping them from voting. Yes, it's stopping them having children because there's a massive difference. Having children's a big commitment and all the fun and um, the hedonism and pleasure seeking has to stop. Right? All of it. What does what does happen? I'll just diverse over here. What does happen is it doesn't stop. And so that's what why couples, young couples are, are splitting up and breaking up after a year or two because it's boring now having children and changing nappies and it's not what, what you know they're being programmed to do, which is by the T V and entertainment industry, which is going to enjoy themselves. So it, that's what's happening with a lot of young I see today. They're having children or getting married. It doesn't last because the hedonism is so strong, it draws them back again. But anyway, anyway, that's another video in itself. What I'm saying is that you are right, and you agreed with me, Nick, which I appreciate, um, that, you know, they're not having, they're being discouraged from having kids because of, they're in the pleasure principle and not the reality principle. Yeah, okay. But you then said in the same breath, well, if that's the case, they're not going to really be bothered about change because they're enjoying themselves so much. Well, no. You know, we can get them out there to vote, right? We can. And that opinion poll shows we can, right? I don't want to have a go at you all the time because at the end of the day, for all your faults like mine, I've got many, you're still a British nationalist. You're not a rat or a dog like bloody Mark Collett and all the rest of them, right? Tommy Robinson, even Jackson, right? You are a British nationalist, right? Faults or not, we've all got them, I suppose. But anyway... You've got to stop this cop-out because it is a cop-out. You've lost control of the BMP. Stand up and put your hand up, okay. And we know who took the BMP from you. We know why. What we need to do now is get together. Not necessarily me and you. I'm just saying that in general. Nationalists, whatever. Decent ones, not spies. Get together and let's formulate something. And if you want to incorporate what you believe long-term, 
what you know having children and homeschooling and whatever building communes nationalist communities then great but we still have to contest elections to get people on board enough to listen to us right also you said in the the jackson tour i'll leave the link below again you talk about homeschooling well there's quite a lot of people doing that but they're not racial white nationalists embarked uh on on a recon Keister uh quest program are they well exactly there's thousands probably of homeschoolers now but they're not racial nationalists nick so that you know that's a bit confusing for people thinking that there's already this community starting this reconquista assuming that's what you were implying uh, if you weren't then okay i've got it wrong but anyway there's there's not there's no one starting this reconquista i'm not saying western the west as as a in a whole uh, the west as a whole is not going to go down the pan down the tube all things can uh, all that can happen really is things are only going to get worse i agree with you right but it's like everything else we, we we just get by don't we no matter what and how bad does britain have to get on par with where san paulo you know all these other places that are just hell holes mogadishu they're still hobbling along we're not as death and aching and murder every day they're still hobbling along aren't they there's there's no total breakdown mad max style you know so is that gonna really really happen well i don't know i do believe things are only going to get worse that's uh, by default they have to the multicultural experiment by default can only get worse but it depends what you mean worse doesn't it you know is it going to get to the point where there's chaos and the, there's no government there's no police well highly unlikely capitalism and technology will keep it going like it's keeping it going in say san paulo or mogadishu or somewhere right but even if you're right and i'm not saying you're not because none of us know none of us know we haven't got the crystal ball we can assume and we can uh, use experience and uh, the way things are going to predict what's probably gonna happen you're probably right we, we we can to an extent but not totally things can turn round either way you've seen we've seen that around the world since the berlin wall came down anything can happen and brexit and trump we can't say right this is definitely going to happen so let's all just pack in and wait for the reconquista well it's not happening we've got to now start building this base if it's for the reconquista which it's not come on getting real you know but let's just say it was for then let's start building an electoral winning power machine again like we had with the bmp at least then we've got a bigger voice we've got a larger audience so to totally exclude elections it, 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 why would you do that why would you exclude something available to us that can pay big dividends yet it's not going to pay a big european paycheck like you were on maybe that's why you're discouraged i don't know right you're a bad-minded bleeder aren't i but anyway yeah it's not so we have to we've got to do this now nick right we have to do this now while we've got time because while we're still the majority we can't do it while we're the majority we're not doing it in 40 50 years time when we're a, a shadow of what we are now it's not happening reconquista communities or not but you know we're wasting valuable time here right piss ass and about with nonsense right and that's what it is it's a cop out nick you know it is right that's what it is it's a cop out but then figures it interesting and let's get back to planet earth eh, nick okay thank you